Hey everybody, welcome back to Salesforce in under five. Today we'll be continuing our preparation for the Platform Developer One certification exam, and we'll be describing the options for and considerations when importing and exporting data into development environments. So there's a variety of ways to import and export data from Salesforce. Um, and there are plenty of third, third party tools and applications like demand tools and workbench that utilize the API. But Salesforce offers two main ways to import and export data. We have the Data Import Wizard and Data Loader. So Data Import Wizard provides a step-by-step -step graphical interface that can guide users through the loading process. And it's more user-friendly. Um, you'll see when you use it, you get these, uh, these you know, affirmations like, good job and great job. So it's pretty fun and easy to use. Um, and allows you to insert, update, and upsert records. Uh, those of you who are not familiar with upsert, it's the ability to update records that do exist and insert records that don't. And Data Import Wizard uh, requires a CSV file. So the Data Import Wizard can be launched from the setup menu or certain object home pages. Uh, it can also import up to 50,000 records at a time. That's the limitation. And it can check for duplicates by user-defined criteria. It can also update to an existing record by mapping to a user-defined key. So you can update um, by looking for the matching Salesforce ID if you have that. And you can also choose to map by a other key such as a, um, I know that contact you can do by email. Uh, or last name. So you can select your own criteria on which to look for existing records to update. So Data Import Wizard can also choose to ignore workflow rules and you cannot export or delete data. And the following are a list of objects that you can import using the Data Wizard. You have your any custom object, account, contacts, leads, solutions, and campaign members. Data Loader, on the other hand, is a downloadable desktop application. It's a little more complex uh, than Data Import Wizard, but adds more functionality. For instance, you can insert, update, delete uh, any object, including products and opportunities. And it uses a CSV, just like Import Wizard. With Data Loader, you can import up to 5 million records, and mappings can be saved for future use. You can also export data and schedule imports. So some things to consider when importing and exporting data. So importing records through either Data Loader or Import Wizard still obeys your access settings. So if your profile um, doesn't have access to edit a certain object, then you're not gonna be able to do it through uh, any of the import tools as well. In addition, uh, the same thing applies to uh, field level security. You also can't update formula fields since formula fields are read only. Your validation rules are not ignored. In other words, validation rules still run. And so does Apex. That's it, this one was short and sweet. I hope uh, you found this information useful. And if you did, please uh, like the video and subscribe.